probably came home, saw that Eva was about to leave him and killed her in a fit of rage. I told her everything was going to be all right. I promised her. I'm sorry, babe. Have you heard from Detective Neely? She said that search teams didn't find anything in the woods. Yeah, that's because Cole knew he couldn't leave her out there. Not once I was on to him. So we put her back in the car, dumped it in the body someplace else. Westchester's got a bolo out on Eva's car, and they flagged her credit cards. Have they pinged her cell phone? They tried, but it's either off or dead. Yeah, I want to go with dead. What about his alibi? Well, he wasn't at work, like he said. His business partner said that he left at 6 p.m., not at 8. Plenty of time to get back to Westchester by 7.45. But when Detective Neely confronted him about it, he revised his story. He said that he was with his mistress, Taylor McKinley, that woman that you took pictures of until 8 p.m. We need to talk to her. Castle, I don't have any jurisdiction. This isn't my case. Yes, but it's my case. Eva hired me. She was my friend, and he killed her right in front of me. <sighs> okay. I'll talk to the mistress. But just me, not you. You're too close to this. So, we had an 